Hey there, and welcome to another episode on our jump syllabus series. Today, we are looking at the jump syllabus for geography. Okay, and if you pick geography as part of your subject combination in jump, you're expected to finish the syllabus, okay, at least three times before your main jump exam. All right, so the, the syllabus of uh, geography has what four major what topics four major topics okay which has a lot of what hand and legs okay so please don't forget that this series brought to you by the o3 school jump app if you have made your decision to pass your jump at once or never to write jump again right this is the app for you it has all the past questions that you need for your exam it has lecture notes there's a classroom feature with lecture notes structured uh, uh, according to the jump syllabus designed to make you study effectively. There is a question search feature where you can search for questions according to topics. And also there is a mock challenge, a UTM challenge on the app every weekend, every Saturday by 10 a.m. Every student writing jump comes to the app to participate in that mock exam to win amazing prizes as well as get you to jump past and likely exam questions. And also you see your results release at the end of the mock. So why should you not have this application? Please download it, activate it and start immediately so let us see the syllabus for geography the general objectives of course is to prepare you for the geography examination in jam and designed to test the achievement uh, okay of what of the students okay according to the course objectives which are to handle and interpret topographical maps photographs statistical data and diagrams and basic field survey to demonstrate knowledge of man's physical and human environment and how man lives and earns a living on Earth's surface with special reference to Nigeria and Africa. To show understanding of the interrelationship between man and his environment. To apply geographical concepts, skills and principles to solving problems. To understand field work techniques and the study of a local area in the field. Let's see the detail syllable. The first topic is practical geography. Okay, that's the first section we are considering. Under this, we look at maps, we look at scale and measurement distances, we look at areas reduction and enlargement, we look at directions, bearings, and gradients with reference to topographical maps. We look at map reading and interpretation, drawing of cross profiles, recognition of uh, intervisibility, recognition and description of physical and human features and relationship as depicted on topographical maps. Then D, we look at interpretation of statistical data, maps and diagrams. Then that moves us to elementary surveying, chain and prismatic, open and closed transverse, procedure, problems, advantages and disadvantages. Then we look at geographic information system, the one we call GIS, component, techniques, data, sources and applications. Of course, to the right, there are uh, things you should focus on so you can also what, uh, uh, pay a very very good attention to that the second topic here is physical geography which is the consider the earth as a planet the earth in the solar system rotation and revolution the shape and size of the earth latitudes and distances longitudes and time then the earth cross the structure of the earth internal and external relationship among the four spheres to talk about rocks, types, characteristics, modes of formation and uses, Earth's movement, tectonic forces, look at major landforms, mountains, plateaus, plains, coastal landforms, karst topography, and desert landforms. Then look at volcanism and earth crops and earthquakes, rather, volcanism and earthquakes. Look at landforms associated with volcanic activities, landforms of igneous rocks, original and uh, origin and types of volcanoes some volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. Then D, we look at denudation processes in the tropics. We look at weathering, look at erosion, look at mass movement, we look at deposition. Then the uh, look at water bodies also, oceans and seas, look at water distribution, salinity and uses, ocean currents, types, distribution, causes and effects, look at lakes, types, distribution and uses, look at rivers, action of running water. Then F, look at weather and climate. A concept of weather and climate, look at elements of weather and climate, look at factors controlling weather and climate, look at pressure, air mass, altitude, continentality and winds, look at classification of climate, Greek and Copen, look at major climate types, Copen, their characteristics and distribution, we look at measuring and recording weather parameters and instruments used, look at the basic science of climate change, look at vegetation, Factors controlling growth of plants, 
the concept of vegetation, e.g. plants, communities, and succession. Look at major types of vegetation, their characteristics and distribution. Look at the impact of human activities on vegetation. That is also soil. So look at definition and properties of soils, factors and processes of formation, soil profiles, major tropical types, their characteristics, distribution and uses, impact of human activities on soils. Then that is also uh, environmental resources, types of resources, atmospheric, land, soil, vegetation and minerals. The concept of renewable and non-renewable resources. Then it takes also environmental interaction land ecosystem, environmental balance and human interaction. Then it takes us to environmental hazards, natural hazards, droughts, earthquakes, volcanic, volcanic eruptions, uh, flooding, look at man-induced, such as soil erosion, deforestation, pollution, flooding and desertification. We look at effects, prevention and control of these hazards. Then that is also environmental conservation, where we explain with examples environmental conservation, discuss the different methods of environmental conservation as well as explain the importance of environmental conservation. Thirdly, third section talk about human geography, talk about population. World population with particular reference to the Amazon basin, Northeast United States of America, India, Japan, and the West Coast of Southern Africa. Characteristics, birth and death rates, ages or sex structure, factors and patterns of population distribution factors and problems of population growth. Then that is sort of settlement with particular reference to Western Europe, the USA, Middle East, and West Africa. Talk about types and patterns, rural and urban, dispersed, nucleated, and linear. Talk about rural settlements, talk about uh, classification, factors of growth and functions. Then talk about urban settlements, classification, factors of growth and functions. Talk about problems of urban centers, interrelationship between rural and urban settlements. Then that is sort of selected economic activities, types of economic activities, primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary. Talk about agriculture, types, system, factors, and problems. Talk about manufacturing industries, types, local, uh, locational factors, distribution, and socioeconomic importance, and problems of industrialization in tropical Africa. It is also transportation and communication types, roles in economic development and communication in tropical Africa. Then we see world trade factors and pattern of world trade, major commodities, origin, routes, and destination. Talk about tourism, definition, importance, location, problems, and solution. Then we talk about regional geography, broad outline of Nigeria, location, position, size, political division, states, and peoples, physical settling geology, relief, landform, climate and drainage, vegetation and soils. Talk about population size. Population talk about size, distribution, migration, types, problems and effects. They talk about natural resources, types, minerals, soils, water, uh, vegetation, uh, distribution, uses and cons uh, conservation. They talk about economic and human geography. We talk about cultural system, the major crops produce problems of agricultural development in Nigeria manufacturing industries, factors of location, types of products, marketing and problems associated with manufacturing, transportation and communication, the modes of transportation and communication, and their relative advantages and disadvantages. Talk about trade, regional and international trade, advantages and disadvantages. Talk about tourism, types, importance, problems, and solutions. Then we now see ECOWAS, meaning and objectives of ECOWAS, member states, advantages and benefits disadvantages, problems, and solutions. Then the recommended test, if you have the old school jump app, I don't think you have you need any textbook any longer, but say you have a good geography textbook, please stick to it. You don't need to, it's not a model, you must buy the one listed here, all right? But if you do not have at all, these are good recommendations, all right? Uh, so please download the old school jump app, activate, share these videos, and like, all right? I'll see you in the next one. My name is Master T, the Grand Commander of the old school Army. Thank you for staying put.